Today's assignment, you're going to be finding the missing number in a pattern. So you're going to need to know what the rule is first before you find the missing number. So looking at the slides, what is a rule? We know it's what's happening to the num to the the pattern. Uh, so you can see there's a missing number here. I can see that it's going up. It looks by 10 each time. So it should be 150, 160. That should be 170 because you're adding 10 each time. Nope, yeah. Jumped ahead a little bit. Okay, so what you're going to do is what is the rule for the pattern? Click and drag the correct rule, then type the missing number. All right, so first you're dragging the pink to the rule, and then you are saying what the missing number is. So I have 1,405. 1,410, I can see I'm going up, so I know I'm either adding or multiplying. They have plus 10, plus 5, minus 5. I know minus 5 can't be it because that would be decreasing. Um, let's see how much I'm going up. 1,405, 1,410. Looks like it's going up by 5. So I'm going to click the plus 5 and drag it to the rule. And then I'm going to type here what that missing number must be. So if I add 1,410 plus 5, I'm going to get 1,415. And just check, make sure the rest of the rule is correct. 1,420, 1,425. Yes, I'm going up by 5 each time. Let's see if I can find a little bit more challenging of one. These all aren't too bad. Let's do this one. All right, so it looks like I'm going down. I'm decreasing 63, 54, 45. So I know it's either divide or subtract, or they say minus, we prefer subtract. So it can't be plus 11. It's either gonna be minus 11 or minus nine. So 63, I'm going down to 54. Let's see, if I do minus 11, 3 minus 1 would equal 2, 6 minus 1 would equal 5, so that would be 52. So that couldn't be minus 11. Let's try minus 9. If I put a 9 here, I can't do 3 minus 9. Take from the 6, make it a 5. 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 9 equals 5. Four, four, and then that'd be a five up here. Five minus nothing would equal five, so 54. So it would be minus nine. You're gonna have to use your whiteboard to work that out. I'll see if I can find a way to draw on here. Um, so let's see if 36 minus nine, nope. I have to use your whiteboard to do that, boys and girls. Oh, maybe here. No. Yeah, use your whiteboard to work them out. It's hard to see how to do it on here. Yeah, it's easier pencil paper. 36 minus 9. Cannot do 6 minus 9. Here, let me do a text box. Sorry, y'all. Okay, I cannot do 6 minus 9, so I'm going to go over to the 3, and that 3 will be marked out and turned into a 2, making the 6 a 16. 16 minus 9 would equal a 7, and I know that 3 became a 2. Yeah, I would work it out on a pencil paper to get 27. Yeah, work it out, pencil paper, your whiteboard. That would be much easier than trying to do it on the side like I did. That did not quite work the way I wanted it to. Pencil paper. If you need help, 